All right, second grade. Now that we've just looked at some pictures of Paul Clay's artwork, we are going to be inspired by him for our project today. So you are going to get a large paper. You're gonna put your name and class code on the back. Then we're going to be using squares and rectangles today to make our art piece. Because if you remember in his artwork, everything was either a square or a rectangle or a triangle. He didn't really use a lot of weird shapes. He didn't really use a lot of circles. So we're gonna make sure that we're sticking with squares, rectangles, and triangles. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with one shape. So I think I'm gonna start with a square. And then you can get a second square of a different color. And I like to stack them because it just makes it a little bit easier. And one way that you can break these shapes up is to cut them from one corner to the other corner. And then you're going to put them back together to make a square again using two colors. So you have to use two colors in each one so since I started with a square, I'm gonna take one of those triangles that I just cut and then one triangle from the other color. And now I've made my square again. So it started as a square, I need to make it back into a square, right? So let's try another one that I can do with a square. So let's get the red and blue this time. So last time, I just cut it from corner to corner to get big triangles, right? This time, I'm gonna cut it twice. I'm gonna go from corner to corner, just like that. Then, so I've just cut it corner to corner like this. Now I'm gonna cut it corner to corner like this, but they're already in two pieces, so I'm just gonna cut from this corner to the top. So then I need to make it back into that square that it started using two colors. So I'm going to take two of my red triangles and two of my blue triangles. And you can see there it's back in the shape that it started because it started off as a square like this and now it's ending as a square. So whatever shape it starts at it has to end as a square. I'm gonna show you one more that you can do with a square and then we're gonna move on to what shapes you can cut out to make a rectangle. So instead of cutting corner to corner this time, I'm gonna cut it in half and then in half again, okay? So I'm just gonna cut it right up the middle and then I'm gonna cut that one in half again to make little squares. So these started off as squares I'm going to have them finish off as squares. Now you can see every time I'm kind of leaving a little bit of white space between each little shape. That just kind of makes everything look really nice and neat and clean. I also leave a little bit of white space along the edge too. So make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're just leaving a little bit of white between each shape. Okay. So I've shown you three different ways to make um, shapes out of your squares. Now let's look at some rectangles. So we can do rectangles the same way that we did our square where we just cut it corner to corner. So I'm gonna do that first, corner to corner. And since it started off as a rectangle, it has to finish as a rectangle. So I'm gonna set one here and then one there. And again, I'm using two colors. I don't want to just place both the green ones back together because that's not very interesting. So make sure you're switching up your colors like that. So you have a little bit more interesting of a picture. Now, another one that we can do for our rectangles is
long skinny rectangles to make up our rectangle. So I'm gonna cut this in half, and then I'm gonna cut this in half again. So now I have a bunch of really long skinny rectangles. to remake my rectangle shape like that. Now, I have a bunch of extras over here, so I can use these to make more squares and more rectangles. Now, something I am going to say is your squares are the same width as your rectangles. Let me show you. So this rectangle and this square are the same width. They're just, a, they're exactly as wide as each other, but they're not <clears throat> the same height, okay? So make sure when you are putting your rectangle shapes on there that you're always making them go up and down. Now you would never just glue a plain rectangle on there by itself, right? You're gonna cut it into shapes, but make sure you're always gluing them so your rectangle goes up and down. Because if you make your rectangle go side to side, and then you put a square on top, they're not gonna be the same size, right? And we want all of our buildings to be the same width, so that way we can add a bunch of, a bunch more. Okay, so make sure you're always making them go long and tall, not side to side, okay? So, now, I think I've shown you all the ways that I know to cut up my squares and my rectangles to make new squares and rectangles, but I know for a fact that you could probably come up with some of your own. I've seen people do some really cool ways of cutting these apart. Now, one thing I am going to say is remember, we're always going to use squares, rectangles, and triangles to make back those squares and rectangles. I don't want you to cut a weird wonky shape like this to make back your rectangle because is this shape a rectangle or a square or a triangle? No, right? It's some weird wonky shape. It does fit back together to make a rectangle, but we wanna make sure that we're using squares, triangles, and rectangles to make our rectangles and our squares. So I think now I can start adding roofs to some of these. Maybe I want a smaller roof. Do I have a small one left? I can start adding roofs. You kind of want some of your buildings to be different heights. It's a little bit boring if all of your buildings are the same height. So maybe that one will be that tall and then I'll keep building up some of my others. So let me keep doing that. All right, and of course you are probably going to want to glue these down as you go because you never wanna get caught at the end of class and you have a bunch that aren't glued down. So make sure you're gluing them down as you go. And I just kinda of wanted to get these on there so you could see them, but make sure you're gluing them down as you go. Also, you can see how all of my buildings are a bunch of different heights. I didn't make any of them super, super short because I wanna make sure I'm using a, a lot of my space. You can see I didn't really leave a whole lot of empty space, okay? So make sure you're making them different heights, but also make sure you're using a lot of your space. I don't want all of your buildings to be super, super short because that's not as fun, right? Okay, I'm gonna go through and glue these down and then I want you to get started so I can see what you're gonna make. <laughs> 